My name is Yahya Mohamed. I'm an Israeli Arab. I was born and raised here in Israel. I come from a place called Um Al Fahim. It's a city in the northern part of Israel. It's near Nazareth. It's the third largest Arab city in Israel. Well, I come from a village where people are known for supporting terror organizations. As a kid, I was taught to uh, hate Israel. I believed those lies. I believed that Israeli Arabs are always a victim. But right now, I identify myself as a Zionist Arab, a very proud one, and I'm standing and defending my country, Israel. What made me become a Zionist? Uh, well, it didn't really happen overnight. When I got out of my town and uh, all of a sudden I was communicating with the Jewish people. All of a sudden now I'm seeing the people who I was being told that they're going to hate me. All of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm able to communicate with them. I'm able to speak to them face to face. I do believe in the right for the Jewish people to have a country in their homeland. Zionism is very important to me. I see future for the Arab world in Zionism. I believe that if all the Arab countries were to deal with Israel or to like to normalize with Israel and have a working relationship, we can achieve amazing things. Surprisingly, I have met some Arabs who actually believe that the Jews have right to have their own country and like govern themselves, but they don't know the term Zionism. They are Zionists without them like knowing that they are Zionists. I'm Israeli, I want to be Israeli just like anybody else. Uh, I want to do the army, but it comes at a very, very big cost for me personally and uh, other Arabs as well. Whenever we volunteer in the army, we pay a hefty price. Sometimes our families stop talking to us if we don't come from a very pro-Israel place, just like I do. They're not doing any good at all with spreading lies and misinformation about Israel and about the way that we live. I have, I have every freedom uh, just like any other citizen would have. My hope to the, in the future is simply for everybody to live uh, next to each other. I have been surprised, absolutely amazed on how much similarities we have with the Jewish people. The holidays are like sometimes fall on the same day. We follow the same God. And this is the thing, our similarities are more than our differences, but some people want, want us to focus on our, the, the, the few differences that we have so they can keep this conflict rolling, so they can keep this conflict going for years. And as soon as you realize that fact, as soon as you open up, as soon as you speak up, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see the whole image.